Dr. Gary Sykes, obstetrician at the City of Venice Hospital. I decided to become an obstetrician when I was a medical student. Uh, we had a tutorial group in obstetrics and uh, one of the uh, other students in my group asked this obstetrician, why are you an obstetrician? And he said, well, um, we're dealing with fit, healthy females, so we're trying to keep it that way. It's got a finite end, which suited me, a bit of medicine, a bit of surgery. It's usually a very positive outcome. And I thought that suited my personality to a T. So that set me on that pathway to become an obstetrician. Now, having become an obstetrician, I really think it was the best choice for me. It's the most amazingly rewarding uh, vocation. And uh, I've now done it for many years. I've managed well over 10,000 pregnancies. And uh, so, um, I, but I certainly do not regret that decision. Um, it's a special time. And I, I talked to patients today about this, actually. That, um, you bond with them. I had a, a lass who sent me a photo, at least a photo. Her mother came to me and I delivered her here at the Sydney Friends Hospital. I have now delivered her five daughters. Uh, that's, that's huge. I'm part of that family. I don't know where else you're going to get that job satisfaction where you're so intimately involved in a very positive way. You know, a woman will often think about what it's like to be a mummy when she's cuddling dolls, when she's about four or five years of age. That's when the dream starts. So to have a baby is often the fulfilment of a lifelong dream. And I have the great joy and great pleasure of sharing with this couple in that amazing, wonderful time. And it's just so, so special. So I feel so rewarded. But also it comes huge responsibility. I have to get it right. Uh, when I first started, as an obstetrician here at the Sydney Venice Hospital, I asked a colleague who's now retired, what's the worst part of the job? And he said, the loneliness. And I thought, whoa, what does he mean? I understand it. What he means is here I am up at the sand at 3 a.m. in the morning with a life-threatening complication. It's me and the midwife, that's it. I have to get it right, there's no room for error. You can't sit down and have a cup of tea. You can't contact a colleague, well you could, but basically you just have to get it right. And the pressure on getting it right. See, things can go south, uh, go wrong in very quickly. And we just have to stay cool and make the right decisions. But fortunately, with my experience, I think here we go again. Now it doesn't under, um, underestimate the severity of the gravity of the situation, but I feel comfortable in my ability to deal with that uh, complication because I've, I've been there before. And patients will tell me, I'm calm. The wheels come off and I'm still calm. I tell them quite often because they, they often get a bit stressed. And I say, well, don't worry until I tell you to. If I'm worried, you should be worried. If I'm not worried, there's no need for you to worry. And uh, they'll tell me I'm calm and I can deal with that situation. Uh, that uh, comes with um, experience. And uh, I, I love my job. I'm passionate about it. It's far more than just a job. It's, uh, it's incredible. It's crazy uh, because the lifestyle is absolutely horrendous. Uh, I met my wife when I was a, um, in high school. So we go way back. We married when I was a medical student. So she's been supporting me on this journey over many years. She's a beautiful lady and hugely support you. But uh, you know, it takes that a special kind of type of woman to support you when you know, you're sort of running out the door and you've got people over for dinner or you leave her literally in the middle of a movie <laughs> or out shopping with her and suddenly I'm out, I'm out of here. This is what my lifestyle is like, but she understands that and accepts it because you, know, you cannot hesitate. You can't say, I'll, I'll wait till the movie ends and I'll go to the hospital after that. That doesn't work because the patient's needs have to come first. When the situation's there, you've got to be able to respond. But, so there's a, there's a downside, but the plus, up, plus side up is far greater. So I have absolutely no regrets about that lifestyle choice. Mm -hmm.